uh, my beloved divine friends and families, brothers and sisters, it has now to do with the Taiwan trade mission that was being established and the government's decision to shut it down, but to allow business and importation to take place. This is a very sensitive and, um, and a topic, but we have got to remember that Taiwan is a rebel state which declared independence and separation from mainland China. It is obvious for that to have happened, there had to have been international players in political conspiracy from the time of the Cold War to, to modern times in which they want to have a foothold in an area of China so that the international players in politics can spy obviously in China despite all the satellite and all the drones and all the, the style of, um, I don't want to start coming in a moment, the, the ray of light that they shoot, that they could pick up images and voices from around the world. They want to have a, a say in China, possibly to break the Chinese system. Now we have seen how China has prospered. We are here about um, problems with religions and so on, but let us, they will say it is their domestic affair. And while I'm a man of religion, I, I find it um, difficult in some way to believe certain things are being peddled. I was in China a few years back and I visited the, 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 the mosque in Beijing, the roof of which is made of pure gold, the roof of the masjid, and I was treated like a, like, 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 like a, like a hero with great honor. I was asked to make prayers and to lead prayers, even I just passed through a little bit, and um, to talk to the people and to address them, which I, my interpreter were, was explaining, and they were very moved. So I didn't see any spy or anybody manipulating anything there. Maybe there are areas where people are being uh, directed by terrorists to try to penetrate and destroy the Chinese system and their governance. The fact is also, they have to protect their national security. And we have seen right in, in, in the United Kingdom, how many Muslims and so on are being imprisoned in some areas of Europe, and some of them did bad, and some of them in America uh, are being targeted, masjids are being, are being monitored. Uh, you can see the guys who are actually spying for maybe homeland security. America has its right to look after its self-interest. So does China, so does the European Union, so does India, so does Pakistan. All nations have their right to look after their self-interest. Now coming back to Taiwan. Taiwan is not my enemy. I've done some business with them in the past, and it probably will again in the future. The Chinese government is not stopping trade and business, but to open a, a kind of a de facto embassy here in Guyana, which is what the trade mission was all about, would definitely have created a, some kind of a trauma in the relationship that we have had for well over what, 45 going to 50 years with the Chinese government who have helped us in so many ways. We have to be grateful to China and to places like India. Uh, no other country, some a little bit from the European Union, a little, little bit from, 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 from the UK, but China gives us medical brigades to take care of our health, to run the hospitals. They, they take our students for scholarships in all field of endeavor, the same thing as India. So we have to show some gratefulness, some appreciation. They have given us grants to help to develop our country and loans and all kinds of things at concessionary rates. So we have to be grateful to China. I'm not anti-Taiwan. China, from what I have gathered, is not anti-Taiwan. I was in Beijing and some other part, and they're showing me this is a fast food chain, very beautiful, from, from Taiwan, and it has the name Taiwan. So I said, how come? They said, we are not enemies. They considered still a state of China but they want to have their own, and they have a government, and they have to want the complete own independence, particularly at the behest of possibly 
enemy nations who would like to see China decimated and broken up. Now to go further, my brothers, my sisters, my friends. This is my feeling, you know. Some people will not agree with me. But we can't have... I used to joke in the past when I was a kid, um, we, will, we will separate from, from Guyana, uh, from, from, from New Amsterdam, and we will call it Rochelstan. We can't, we can't have that. You can't have Essequibo or Region 4 separate and one is on the other far east and one is in the other far west. We can't have any one of us. So you can't have, my point is, you can't have two Guyanas. You can't have, let us have a separation and have to call them Guyana and they be two Guyana. You can't have two China. You can't have two United States. Some might call it, listen, we want to separate from the United States of America and we want to have our own state with the United US government. Allow that. And they can't and they should not. And I would support them as one with interest in the United States. They can't expect to have two United States. You cannot expect to have two Canada. You cannot expect to have two Guyana. And therefore, how can you expect to have two China, my beloved divine friends and family? China has a policy from my readings and uh, from my light association with them over the decades. One country, two systems. This was when they were taking back Hong Kong, which was loaned to the British for 100 years. And then the policy is one nation, two systems. And that was beautiful. I think the Chinese government are one of the most humane, most gen gentle kindness in the world. They do not send military brigades to attack nations. They are basically, from what I see, interested in what? As a, a, a businessman, Chinese leader in Brazil said they were getting criticism and attack. So he had a meeting. And this businessman, and I said it at the, at the Chinese embassy one time when we were invited with Guyanese businesses as well for discussion. And this is the point that the gentleman made very clearly. China is interested in business. You make a product. You have a product, we take your product, we buy your product, we manufacture it, we process it, we resell it. What's the problem? You make money, we make money. Everybody happy. And that is the, what I gather is the logistic and the fair-mindedness of what China stands for. They don't send military gunboats into a nation. They don't penetrate governments to be overthrown. They do not interfere with, 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 with nations' domestic policies. I, I have, please correct me, tell me where. And so, while we, we can trade and do business with Taiwan, nothing wrong with that. We should not treat Taiwan as a separate state or a nation. That is my philosophy. I see my friend in today's uh, Kai Chor, um, Vish, uh, Mr. Bishram, um, saying contrary. To, valuing trade with Taiwan does not compromise relations with China. But this was not, the, the, the Chinese says they don't have no problem with us trading with Taiwan. The government of Guyana, after realizing the mistake, indicated that they have no problem in trading with Taiwan. The problem is to set up a de facto embassy, which will show that it is not a Chinese trade mission but we can import, we can sell to them, and we can host trade groups and marketing groups and so forth and so forth. So for me, you're truly, your friend, Haji Dr. Roshan Khan, in the raw, let us not get misled and misunderstood by propaganda being spread by certain elements to get us to disrespect China. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, in the raw, saying thank you for tuning in into RK's Guyana Free Media. And I say farewell, friends.